Hey guys, Shane Starnes here with DroidModerX.com and Hashcode has released his latest version of SafeStrap, SafeStrap version 3 for the Droid Bionic, the Droid Razor, the Droid Razor Max, the Droid 4, and the Droid 3. This is a beta release, so it is in no way perfect, but it is stable enough to be released to the masses. Uh, I know that several weeks ago he began testing on the SafeStrap version 3. Uh, some people were willing to test it. There were some bricks that were made, some bricks that were recovered, and bugs that had been squashed to make this thing stable enough to release to the masses. Uh, there will be no bricking with this version, in other words. So there are several really big changes to SafeStrap 3. Uh, the biggest change probably that you'll notice right off the bat when you boot into re the recovery for the first time is that it is touch-based. It's based on Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, no more using the clunky hard buttons. Uh, you can just uh, touch what you want to do and it will do it. So this makes it very user-friendly, uh, much more user-friendly than any previous version. Another big change is that it's installed on your internal SD card. So before you install it, you want to check out your file space and make sure you have plenty of space there on your device storage. I've got 8 gigabytes. That should be plenty. The most this thing will ever use is about 3 gigabytes. So SafeStrap, uh, it has to have that space uh, to install the ROM on that partition and it also makes for things like flashing multiple ROMs. We can flash up to four ROMs now which is a new feature with version 3 um, and you can also swap between ROMs very quickly. Used to if you were going to enable the safe system and then disable the safe system you had to sit there and wait you know three or four minutes. Now it's going to be almost instant uh, which is very awesome and now we also have the ability to flash on the stock partition whereas before if you installed a stock ROM on your unsafe system that's what you were stuck with until you flashed back over into your unsafe system you would remove a safe strap and then from bootstrap you could install a stock ROM you'll actually be able to install your stock ROMs from safe strap um, there are some other features that we'll get into but let's go ahead and install it so you want to grab the application from the link in the description and you will install it. Once that's installed, you will open it and you will then flash the recovery. So you'll install recovery and then you can reboot into the recovery. So it's very easy to install. Before you install it though, be sure that you uninstall any previous versions of SafeStrap. I'm not saying delete the application. I'm saying actually go into the application, uninstall recovery. You'll see this option in you know, SafeStrap version 2. Uninstall recovery, then you can delete that application. Install the new application and then install your recovery. If you have Bootstrap on your device, you want to make sure that you uninstall that as well because the two recoveries do not mesh well. Uh, once that's installed, you can go ahead and power off the device. And then we'll just power on. As soon as the new splash screen comes up, we will hit the menu button. That will bring us into SafeStrap version 3. Another awesome feature of SafeStrap version 3 is that you can now charge your battery in recovery just like with Team Win Recovery Project. All of us have done it. We've uh, went to install a ROM, we get into the recovery, we wipe data, wipe cache, wipe Davit cache, go to install it and realize that we only have 10% battery. Uh, so for those times you can actually plug in your device and charge while you're in recovery. So as you guys can see, battery percentage is listed there as well. It's another awesome feature of Team Win Recovery Project so you always know how much battery you have before you uh, go through with installing ROMs. Um, so what we have here is we'll need to go into uh, boot options and you see you have your four ROM slots plus your stock ROM slot there as well. So if you wanted to install a new ROM uh, in one of these ROM slots, you would just select that ROM and choose the uh, partition size. One gigabyte for those that uh, don't use a ton of apps. If you use a ton of apps, you would go to two gigabytes. And if you are just crazy buck wild with apps, you've got unlimited apps, then you would go with three gigabytes. Uh, I would just stick with the one gigabyte so you would select that and create the ROM slot. That will take a few minutes, so I'm going to kind of pause it here. Okay, so when that process finishes, I now have a ROM slot uh, there. If I have that highlighted, then that is the active uh, boot ROM. So if I go back and I go to uh, wipe data, I go to wipe, 
and I go to factory reset, that's going to wipe that ROM slot. Uh, if I have factory ROM highlighted, that's going to wipe the data on my factory ROM or my uh, what used to be uh, the unsafe partition. And let's see, if we go back to boot options, I could actually go to stock and activate that. Or I could go back to slot one and activate that. You can also change this to a nickname. Uh, if you saw that there, you can set a nickname for like Signage of Mod 10 or AOKP or AOKP Kegzek or Signage of Mod Kegzek. You guys kind of get the picture there. Uh, you can do that for all four ROM slots. And uh, you can back up and restore uh, your whatever current slot that you have, uh, whether that be the stock slot or your custom slot. And of course, if you go to install, this is where you can select a ROM. Obviously, I don't have one downloaded now because I'm basically just kind of walking you guys through how to use it. We're not actually going to install a ROM today. And, of course, you have some other options. Uh, you can mount your SD card, uh, mount your system, mount your data. You can go th through advanced. You can actually copy the log, uh, partition out your SD card. There's a file manager here just like in Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, so this just really makes it much more user-friendly. Uh, overall, a clean look. Um, guys, you definitely want to head to the link in the description, grab this Safe Strap Recovery, replace this with your version 2, and this will be the preferred method to install CyanogenMod 10, AOKP, uh, any of those ROMs in the future. But guys, this has been Safe Strap version 3 for the Droid Bionic. Uh, thanks guys for watching. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button right up there. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.